the 4Ws Outdoors supporting the youth of the Glenn Miller Agricultural Camp. We started with gun safety, gun safety, gun safety, and then we pulled out our 22s and sent some rounds downrange. It's Willard and Wanda. Wanda came out to make sure we were doing it right. After our gun safety training, we started off with our 22 Savage boat action and sent about 200 rounds downrange so the youth would get familiar with shooting a rifle. After some hands-on learning with our 22 savages, we're ready to step up to, the, to that dad's 30-yard sixes. Going over gun safety one more time, how to make our shot placement on these hogs and looking forward to our hunt.
After a successful day of hog hunting, we got us some hamburgers. Hog hunting by boat, we had to head out right after sunrise. We made it to our hog hunting spot at Dog Island, down in Matagorda, Texas. Hunting by boat, wow, what an amazing day out on the water and on land. Second hog hunt finally paid off. Now the work starts. All right, our agricultural science camp, first inaugural, second inaugural hog hunt, right. first successful one. Right. Come on, Greg, tell us who you are and what's, about, what's going down. Early this morning around 6.45, got on up in here, got set up, got a blind spot, got up on the hill. 
Try to coordinate the efforts of both, both sections shooting at the same time. And of course, this little rascal came through at a bad time. Yeah, <laughs> man. All right, so. Sweet oh, yeah. All right, so this is the easy part. This is the easy part. So now we got to take care of it. this rascal and clean him up. All right, so which, which one of our young fellas, I, I hear we had a couple shots. Yeah, it was both. A tag both team, both. tag team. Yeah. One, two, three, pow, or three, two, one, pow. <laughs> one, two, three, and pow, or? One, two, three, pow. <laughs> got to coordinate. Got to get it ready. All right, tell everybody who we are. All right, all right how long have you been going to exercise camp? Long time, long time. Come on, young fella. All right, all right. Who's this young man right there? How long have you been going to camp? I'll be my second year this year. Second year. Six years. Coach Carter, Coach Six Carter. Six years. Inaugural. Yes. Come on there, Chief. That's Seven, seven, years. seven years. Come on, Greg. When we first down, sat down at Bass Pro Shop, right. trying to make it happen. Look at us now. Right. Seven years huh? later, man. We out here doing it, man. Woo! Come on, two young years. fella. We got two years. Two, two years. years. That's an arm song. Two years in. All right. So, tell us, tell us a little bit about that. We we need some sponsors because we we didn't get the grant for the X Science Camp for this year. So, but we're gonna make some stuff happen. Tell everybody a little bit about the camp. Well, the X Science Camp has been been around for. Uh, Several different sponsors. ATV has been sponsors. UW 4WS has been sponsors. We've had several different sponsors over the years, and we're continuously looking for sponsors to continue to support the camp. Last year, we supported through a uh, co op grant uh, with uh, HISD. So we, this year, we'll be still looking forward to some more support from other groups and other, uh, other interest groups to make sure that these kids um, all across the state have opportunities kids that are engaged and, 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 and both unengaged in, in the act science. So we want to kind of get them exposed to what we're doing and, and let them see some black and brown kids out here doing Say it, say it a little bit louder so they can hear some, some black and brown kids out here learning this, pro this process. Underrepresented. That's so, right. so my grant with the Texas Parks and Wildlife is for underrepresented population, mm -hmm. women, we, we got women out here too. Yeah. They on the other side. They on, they doing their thing, right? Right? Low income. Right. All right, so we're going to make it happen. Whoa. Sweet. I saw two holes in them. So what are we shooting, young fellas? 30 or 6. Come on, big guy. What you shooting? Ooh, we. What you got there, Dan? 223. 223. Don, what you got there? That's that Savage 270. Savage 270. Stainless steel. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. What you got over there, young man? That's that monster. That's Bill Balboa's monster. Ooh, wait. Oh, wow. Let's see it. Come on. All right. All right. All right. All right. So that, that was the easy part. <laughs> you know, so tell, tell us a little bit about hog hunting and taking. You need a hunt license to hog hunt? No, we don't have. Well, we don't actually have a hog license to hunt hogs. But, but you do have to have a license to hunt. There you go. But we all require our kids to take hunter education, That's right? right? How much? How much time we spend at the gun range? How many rounds did we send send down range? Huh? Right? Did that help? Did that help? Right? Hey, well, you know what? He got to he got to celebrate with his dad. So we need to get his dad over here. Okay. Okay. Let's call him. Come on. Was that your sister over there too? Yeah. Uh huh. Uh oh. You're gonna show her off, huh? Now I need to get the kids set up at our other hunting spot and that was time to skin and quarter a hog. It's about 95 to 100 pounds. I like that, that jacket now. <laughs> All right. Great job by everybody. The team effort. I told the kids we're gonna skin the pig just like peeling a banana. So each one of them will get a chance to take the hide off.
high down. Take the hole. Doesn't have a lot of fat on it. Like a deer. They also take the time to stop and get in there. They do harvest as much as protein. Over at Noah. Now the youth and the dads are taking turns turning that hog into sausage. How would you like to support our Ag Science Camp? Each year we're always looking for support to get more youth involved in the outdoors. Thanks for watching.